okay until now we have discussed a lot about rip routing protocol so let's have some hands on let's do some configuration that how we can configure rip routing protocol ourselves so i have got these two files for you guys here one is the routing lab pdf itself and the other one is cisco packet tracer topology please download and install cisco packet tracer version 8 and this software because this one gives us like a real time experience and it's a free software free for everyone the version i am using is version 8.0 because i prepared the lab in it so it will open in version 8 and higher versions please do not try to open in less versions like 6 and old ones so step number one download and install cisco packet tracer step number two download these files this pdf file and this pkt file open this pkt file once you double click it will open here in the cisco packet tracer and then you can open this pdf file let me double click and open it okay so let's learn how to do the configuration same like all our previous labs all our other labs for rip routing protocol this is the pdf and here we give you a clear task the task says that you have to configure rip routing protocol on router number one in this topology you can see that there are two routers one is called router number one the other one is called as router number two so we have to configure rip routing protocol on router one and router two so that they can ping each other this pc can ping pc number two pc1 can ping pc2 and pc2 can send the ping packets to pc1 ping is a utility everybody knows which we use to test the connectivity so if ping will work it means that this whole path has been configured properly so we need to make sure and this will happen only when rip routing protocol has been configured here on router number one and router number two successfully right so i hope you understand this is topology this is the task which you have and then there is solution so solution means you have to do step by step step by step follow it this pdf and then try to configure in cisco packet tracer so let's do the configuration together step number one let's try first whether we can ping from pc1 to pc2 or not as it is without configuration so will it work or not definitely it wouldn't work but let's give it a try so we go to command prompt how to open open a computer click on desktop and then click on this command prompt right here we can type ping the destination destination is what destination is this ip address so destination is 192.168.0.2 so then there is a reply from its gateway which says that destination host unreachable which means we cannot reach the destination or sometime request is timeout which means there is a problem between these two computers and the problem we already know what is the problem the problem is that this router is blocking the ping packets why because it does not know where to send it does not know the destination its routing table actually is empty so in routing table we have to fill the information we have to tell the router that okay if you want to reach to 192.168.0.2 this kind of host that what you must do so if you want to reach 192.168 this subnet then you must go to fa0 slash 1 or 2 or whatever or you must follow the next hop 12.12.12.2 this is next hop so once we configure rip routing protocol definitely it will know how to do it so let's do the configuration together step number one we go to router number one let me show you the pdf also so the pdf says in the solution that step number one we have to enable rip on the whole router simple command router space rip which means please make it a router enable the routing and which type of routing rip routing protocol step number two we have to make sure that it uses version number two so that it can support vlsm and cidr means it can support 10.0.0 slash 24 and 12.12. slash 24 right so simply we have to configure actually this routing these three steps and then we will verify so we go here simply always enable i think let me increase the font size go to preference 
and uh, then font cli font let's make it 10 i think so it will improve our vision a little bit yeah let's make it 12 so this is how you can also change the font of your cli in cisco packet tracer okay i think this one is more visible for you guys okay so here go to router step number one what should we say we can say configure or we can check first show ip route so there is no route there is no rip route the router does not know how to reach to 192.168 it only knows the local interfaces so it's verified so we say configure terminal router space rip so which means please make it a rip router and then we can say version type 2 and then we start advertising the network so what what network so first we have to say that okay please enable rip on this side and then secondly please enable rip on the other side of router number i am configuring on router one actually so we will enable rip on both sides both interfaces so we can say 10.0.0.0 .0 and it does not allow to enter subnet mask 255 255 we don't need, don't need to enter network and then we can say network what 12.0.0.0 that's all even if i enter 12 12 same effect okay then we can run a command which says no auto dash summary which, which means that please do not summarize anything for me because you know rip start advertising the summary route sometime it's an advanced concept but simply in simple words just add no auto summary so that it does not combine or does not summarize the routes automatically okay router one configuration is done let's go to router number two so router two also has two types of networks two networks actually connected with it one side this port it has 192.168 this interface this network and the other side is 12.12.12 .12 so two networks we go to cli and here we can say enable configure terminal and then we can say router rip version 2 and we can say network which type of network 192.168.0.0 .0 and we can say network 12.0.0.0 .0 and we can say no auto summary that's all okay so let's check the route show ip route still no rip route here we can see r means rip route actually b means bgp route m means mobile routes r means rip route rip one rip two both so after some time we check again show ip route again show ip route show ip route okay so finally a rip route is there before it was having only three routes now it has four routes you can say so in RIP we have two routes one is 10.0.0 and the other one is 12.0.0 so we are receiving two routes which means that router one has been telling router number two that I have got two networks attached with me and if you want to reach this type of network how to reach so now router two knows how to reach router one's 10.0.0 so router two if some request comes to here of course it knows that okay we need to forward here and similarly router one will also know what to do also let me enable uh, there is something port labels this one so it becomes easy for you to identify ports as well okay similarly go to router number one and here we can say show ip route and similarly we have one route here rip route and now we know how to reach this kind of network 192.168.0.0 which is what which is computer number 2 192.168 this route right so both knows let's go back to computer now and we try to ping to the other side we go here go to command prompt and before which was showing showing rip uh, destination host unreachable let's see this time same command ping this time might be one will be wasted due to ARP and the remaining will be successful if our configuration is correct. The first one is due to ARP, you know, because it needs to do some calculation for the first time. So now there are destination 
and there is a reply as well it can reach in these bytes in this time ttl means time to live 126 this is due to virtual interface of the packet tracer but yes there is a reply so which means it can reach to the other side similarly if i go to pc number two and i try to ping back from here to here will it be successful or not definitely we go to desktop command prompt and then we say ping 10.0.0.2 and yes definitely there is a reply coming from the other side as well so this confirms that yes we can reach from one side to the other side there are many other commands actually there is something let me see if this version supports show ip protocols yeah it supports so this one also tells us so many uh, detailed things but it's a little bit advanced topic so here it is telling us that okay which interfaces are passive which routing information what is the admin distance you can see 120 we discussed uh, in the lecture also so this kind of information so this completes our lab and we can successfully ping from computer number one to computer number two and similarly we can ping from computer number two to computer number one so this is successful there is a reply so this is how we can verify that whether our configuration is correct or not so please complete this lab do it with your own hands now so that you will have hands-on practice as well so if you have any questions please write in uh, the comments below i will also upload the link i will mention the link to download these files because we cannot upload on youtube directly so we'll upload on our facebook official group you can download it free of cost from there uh, and if you are interested in any other labs you guys can mention and we will be preparing those labs as well so thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel and we'll come up with more videos